quick explanation of the turn one win that is possible in Streets of New Capenna. You get a starting hand with one island, two zero cost cards, one of which at least has to be a non-creature. You have one copy of an offer you can't refuse. So play island, tap, cast a non-creature card, target it with an offer you can't refuse. That resolves, you get two treasure tokens. Then you use those two treasure tokens to cast another zero cost card, target it with Tybalt's Trickery, which gets a random card from your library to, to play for free. You hopefully get Omniscience, and then you can play spells from your hand without paying your mana costs. If you don't get Omniscience, you can get Emergent Ultimatum. Choose three cards, and the opponent uh, gets to put one of them back in your library, and you get to cast the other two without paying your mana cost. So one of the cards can be Omniscience. Or, if you don't give me Omniscience, how about I cast Brilliant Restoration. Return all artifacts and enchantments to the battlefield. And, before that resolves, Final Parting. Search your library for two cards, put one into your hand and the other into your graveyard, putting Omniscience into your graveyard. That resolves, then Brilliant Restoration resolves, and then you have Omniscience. The other card you would get into your hand with Final Parting is uh, either a Severac, the Arch Lich, which can go infinitely. Uh, you can play it an infinite number of times and uh, either cause the opponent to lose one life 20 times, or better yet, probably go through Dungeon of the Mad Mage, which uh, oops, sorry, go through Dungeon of the Mad Mage, which lets you uh, draw your entire library and then cast cards without paying your mana cost. That might take a while, uh, but you can also uh, get a wish effect from paying uh, no mana through omniscience for either Fae of Wishes or Masterminds Acquisition, and then go into your sideboard and get Shipwreck Dowser. Return Masterminds Acquisition from your graveyard to your hand, and then it gets plus one, plus one, and then you keep getting Shipwreck Dowsers, playing them, returning Masterminds Acquisition, get another Shipwreck Dowser play, return Masterminds Acquisition, each one gets plus one, plus one each time. Uh, there's also Scholar of the Ages, which lets you get two instants of sorceries back from your graveyard. So if you milled something with Tybalt's Trickery that's useful in there, you can uh, you can get another card. And uh, finally, you play Doomscar Titan, which uh, creatures you control gain haste. And then you end get bigger. <laughs> and so you attack in for 20 damage. Uh, if you put all four of these blue creatures down and then Doomscar Titan, that's 27 damage turn one, and uh, if you get blocked <laughs> if, with, uh, if you're 7-7, seven, seven, uh, all prowess trigger shipwreck dowser gets blocked by an opponent's 1-1 one, one they played turn one, you still get 20 damage in, and so this is a, a turn one win, even without the 78 clicks that it would take to go through the lost mine of Fandelvar enough times to make your opponent lose a life. So it might be even possible to accomplish this in arena. It's not just a theoretical paper turn one win. Uh, I think with the wish effects, it might be possible to accomplish this in arena. We'll find out. Uh, my rough math indicates that it will take approximately uh, 183 hands to get a win. <laughs> so we're going to try. Um, other ways you can win with this stack. Tybalt's Trickery can mill an Omniscience into the graveyard, and then you can hit a Brilliant Restoration and return it, and so you can get Omniscience that way. Uh, and then you can also hit with Tybalt's Trickery Genesis Ultimatum, and then look at the top five cards of your library, reveal Omniscience, right? See Omniscience, put it onto the, the battlefield, and then the rest of the cards you go in your hand. Hopefully one of them is one of the East Tutor effects or Wish effects, Burning Redeemon also is a, is a kind of tutor effect. Um, Emergent Ultimatum doubles as a tutor effect. Uh, for that matter, so do if you have a Genesis Ultimatum in your starting hand and you get Omniscience. That's an almost halfway decent uh, tutor effect itself, uh, or at least, you know, a draw effect, uh, and then you don't have to pay to cast anything. So that's the deck.